What is up guys and welcome to the Beyond Sanas here on my name and today we are finally returning to the multiplayer games in BFME 1 on the page 2.2 it's a new league with a challenge system and that's gonna be a best of 3 between me and Zmix and I get to play Isengard in the next game we will swap the factions the first game is random against random so let's do this I will try something else actually I'm gonna just go with double furnace opening it's a good faction so it's not the best <laughs> no not the best so we will eventually lose the settlements but i want to try something new okay uruks okay so i mean the plan is i want i want to actually get like multiple furnaces inside the castle and then build up the war pit because i want to skip the uruk pit for once and go straight for the walk riders so the peasants i hope they didn't see me because the hill gives you the high ground gives you more vision and i know we will lose the settlement but it's fine we will actually get a creep and a settlement for free i mean i was really hoping that it's gondor again actually because against gondor this can actually work better because rohan is kind of harder as he's able to spam additional peasants which won't make it anytime easier for us and on top of that, you know, I'm really rusty actually. I didn't play for 1v1s, I think, for months. I, I, maybe not the entire year. I don't know if I actually played a 1v1 game in 2023. I mean, I want to just stall a bit, you know. So now the Uruks are almost level 2. That's actually good, and hopefully we can get them level 2 and then you know we can save the banner carrier coast so in order to make this work we actually need like around about five furnaces inside the castle because the walk areas are actually very expensive and the only way to make them cheaper is to build uh, the slaughterhouses which unfortunately are like a horrible resource buildings for the isengard faction because the you know the furnace is just tankier and also giving you the steel bonus you know making your upgrades cheaper which is just overall more beneficial i have like two settlements for now that's actually not bad and i'm going to place my worker oh but the hobbit is so annoying oh they got level two get get away get away get away, get away. <gasps> what the peasant slaughtered us and he's also making it to this location too oh man okay like this is not looking good by the way because my opponent should have actually I'll hit him on the field by now and it means every single creep will legit be uncontested he can do whatever he wants okay so uh, you know we are kind of broke boys <laughs> we are kind of broke so i mean not even five furnaces are actually enough for this they cost 650 each holy but we will make it work oh boy no don't tell me this man come on now no way i mean oh boy <laughs> i'm i'm molding over here man i'm molding it's annoying fortunately though the <laughs> the furnace is so tanky you know so it will oh but there is a level two peasant that's a different story that's a different story cancel it to get the money back Oh, come on, please. Nice. Okay. Trample. Trample time. All right. Oh, look how many peasants. That's actually good for me because that will kind of help me to get to two power point power spike to unlock the industry, which I desperately need in this game. I need it so badly. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. So now I want to build Uruk pit. Oh, never mind. I actually were okay i was thinking that i have the second one but that's not the case i mean of course what i'm doing here is like an off meta strategy but i'm also getting the feedback from people that isengard feels extremely strong in the patch 2.2 to the version 3.2 and the feedback is kind of very important for us to kind of know what to nerf what to you know what to buff and you know when you are isengard enjoyer the next version isengard will be a bit weaker Okay, I want to creep this actually. 
I want two power points. So the Hobbit is annoying, but I will, you know, deal with him later on. I could go for the Palantir to reveal the Hobbit, but I don't think, you know, it's good. It's just better overall to get straight to the industry power spike. We can always recruit Lourdes later on, right click on the cripple to reveal the Hobbit. No problem more. So I want to save up for Lourdes now. Oh, creeping this will help me to get industry and also to get Lourdes. Get the money. Get the money, then I can buy Lourdes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice, we have the money. Beautiful. Okay, so the fighting Urukai will be recruited. Uh, our goal is to kind of make sure that he gets a lot of EXP, you know, experience. And if he can, we can maybe leave. Oh, hold on. I want to leave the last hit to Lourdes. Can I, can I steal the money though? Can I? Oh man. I got, I got money. That's good. Oh, okay. I, I could have stolen this one as well, but I wanted to go for the 50 50. Anyways, I'm going to build Uruk now because we need, you know, war carriers are actually very strong. Early mid game, but they will, of course, get outskilled by the war who hear him, especially when, you know, Tyrion is around them. And they have also the chance to buy the horseman shields, which we can't. But, you know, to compensate that, works, they have the whole ability, which can also make them stronger for a short duration at least. Okay, we are playing it slow, you know, because we are skilling, you know, no problem. We can leave the last hit to Lourdes, to the War Clayer 2, get them to level 3, and that's gonna be a nightmare situation for the King of Rohan. You know, <laughs> when you when Lourdes sees you, Theorin, you better hide. Use the Alvin Cloak. Talking about the Alvin Cloak, we will use the Lourdes very soon to reveal the Hobbit. So map control is looking not too bad, you know, it could look, of course, way better. But I'm happy that we can control this much without having any pikemen on the field. That's kind of good. Lords level 3. That's beautiful. Let's send him to the, out, to the farm. Get the money. Get the farm. And here we have a couple of options. The option number one, of course, is to make, you know, army. Upgrade them from the armory and, you know, pretty much get stronger. Option number two is to rush the Saruman first. Which is something I like to do a lot. It's like when you play Gondor and you rush Gandalf after a few horses without, without buying upgrades on them. So it's going to be pretty much the same strategy. Saruman, incredibly impactful hero at every stage of the game. And in the worst case scenario, you can use him like a statue. You know, you can put him next to your units and he can give you leadership. Okay, so we have an army now. I want to hide them because my opponent is actually going for the upgrades. Okay. You know what he should be doing instead? Listen to me. He should be just going for the ant rush. Because legit, I have nothing that can deal with the ants. People say that ants are feeling weak, but I don't think so. Because the way you want to rush a beast is to go front to back. So people, they always go all in into the orphank, in, into the middle, into the center. And this will cause every sentry tower to shoot at you. And of course, it's gonna that's gonna hurt, you know. But if you just go front to back, if you just destroy the towers in the front, destroy furnaces, deal massive economical damage. It should be just fine. People, they always thinking that going for the citadel is the best thing to do, which is not the case, you know, it's not the fact. So many horses. Okay, so we have the war carriers. We can use war chant and fight them. Look, the problem with too many horses is it kind of requires lots of attention, you know? <laughs> when you have like five horses, it means you need to every single millisecond keep paying attention. They are very mobile units, and if you don't pay attention a single second, you might lose them. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a player. I can't control four or five horses simultaneously. I can't. I'm too old with this, you know, I'm 32. I'm gonna turn 33 this year. So I'm gonna just recruit three horses and micro them well, hopefully not lose them, instead of having six horses, but then losing over and over again, you know, and feeding power points. So, loots. Let's get the outpost. 
Okay, so we need to make sure our eco is good. It's the first thing what we want to do. And then we can go for the outpost top right. Then go for the siege. And we are just going to be good to go. Okay, he's not paying attention. He is not paying attention. Let's level up those units. You know, it's free experience, of course. I, I just want to tell you that you need to use it. It's underused for absolutely no reason. It's so good, you know. Every 90 seconds, you can do it over and over again. Okay, Lourdes, almost level 5, that's good. If he crippled Theorin, he's gonna die. 100%. There is nothing he can do about that. But I'm so rusty, dude. I'm so rusty, boys. Holy. Okay. So we need to play it slow, right? We don't... The last thing what we want... Oh, he was going for a sneak attack. The last thing what we want is that he actually... Gets her power points from us. Okay, so watch this, boys. Watch this. Follow me, King of Rohan. You fell right into my trap. <laughs> Draw your sword, lords. Show who is the boss of this game. Boom. Look. <laughs> is this one of the best fireballs you have seen in your life? I hope so, because that was one of the best I've done so far. Dude, when they are clamped like this, the splash damage from Fireball is just hitting like an absolute track. Okay, so it's fine though. It's fine. I mean, we are getting fed over here, alright? We are getting fed over here. Beautiful. Okay, get map control. Now we are actually talking. So now, Isengard's army has been unleashed. The timer of you winning against me is over. Actually, that's not true, because Rohan is also very good skilling faction. But I think Rohan is kind of underwhelming right now in the 2.22. Um, especially on small maps, right? This is like a very really small map. The distance from the Isengard castle to the settlements is not that big. For me, personally, Rohan is a strong faction the bigger the map is. So like a Westfold map, for example, the peasant spam can be actually very rewarding. Because there are too many settlements, they are far away from the castle. And you can recruit additional peasants from the farms outside. So, uh, this is like a medium-sized map. I would like to say that it's like the same size, like Forts of Eisen, almost. Which is, of course, good for, in my opinion, it is for Isengard. And Gondor, of course. Gondor is also very strong on small maps. Alright, so. Okay, we are now strong. We're gonna build uh, Furnace here. And we, I like to build the Siege at the Outpost. So, Siege is kind of slow-moving units. The trebuchet, I mean the, the ballista or the rams, they are actually very slow. So you don't want to build them inside the castle of yours. That's a long distance you need to travel to your opponent. So always get to control the outpost next, the closest to the enemy castle. And you can kind of close the gap this way, you know? Alright, I don't think you will be able to fight my army anytime soon. That's why you invest into Lourdes early game. So if Lourdes gets level 5 and you recruit Saruman plus Warchant, it's so powerful, you know? Okay. So, he's trying to... I mean, he should have rushed my castle multiple times before my Saruman even came. Oh, Aragorn. Aragorn's son. So, hold on a second. We can fight this, maybe. I need a pikeman in this two walk radius. I'm gonna go for the outpost with my main army. And we need to try to kill Aragorn with the pikeman in the two works in Warchant. So we have upgrades on him. I don't know if he has Anduril or not. I don't see the Anduril sword on him. So he might maybe have it. I mean, that's a bad choice, I think, from him. I can use Warchant here. Uh, oh, early heal. That's good for me. 
It means Aragorn has no heal anymore besides Atelas, of course. So, Pikeman in the Porcupine formation into Warchant plus Heavy Armor actually very strong, tanky. In the meantime, we are destroying the outpost. It was like an economical outpost anyway. Okay, he's using the Bleedmaster, but he's surrounded. You see, we are kind of clumping against them. We also use Atelas, so he needs to now be ill. He will die here when he keeps fighting. Oh, smart, it ain't deal. Alright, I will let you live for now, but at least we get to hold the outpost. It's also very important. Theorin! <gasps> nah, he get out. Alright, it's time to siege. It's time to siege. So the beautiful part about the situation for us, boys, is that we are only two and a quarter away from getting to the freezing rain. So in a dream world, you want to have freezing rain once you break through the walls of your opponent, right? So when we go inside the jeans with the full leadership staked army, Lords, Saruman, Warchant, and then we press the one button to make enemy lose all their leadership bonuses, that's going to be the perfect time for us to shine. I mean, we are so rich now you know of course during the you know during the base attack you can also use the walk arrows we didn't lose them they are both alive still to get map control you know yet all the map leave nothing those peasants of rohan i mean he has so many horses but he never tempts to even rush my bees like, I'm telling you, these horses with horseman shield and Tyrion are actually very, very strong. You know, they are very tanky too. And Tyrion all along giving them 50% additional armor. So they can tank those towers for a long time. So the later the game goes on, the harder it is going to be to rush the Isengard castle. Because Furnace are hitting level 3, you are going to act like a tower. So it's going to make it a bit harder. But right now, my Furnaces are not level 3 just yet, you know. At least not all of them. Okay, so, I'm pretty strong, man. I don't think he can fight this. Don't lose the walk riders. Don't lose them. <laughs> Torch them up. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> this, when you get to this point with Isengard... I think you are unstoppable, right? Like, you have map control, you are sieging him. Um, the only hope he has is to defend from the castle inside. So, with a statue or something. But even when I see the statue... Hold on a second. Is he gonna fight this? There is no way, right? <gasps> he has glorious charge! Okay. I need to pick the tinted line to cover his thing, Elven Wood. Oh, he doesn't even use the Elven Wood. Alright, I'm gonna fire fireball. Fireball. Oh, he's targeting me down. My Saruman! Get away, get away, get away. Okay, okay. Get, run, 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 run. He's hard focusing me. Look, Theoden is not with him, so he's losing leadership. Oh, he's running it down now. Oh, he's running it down now. Aragorn is gonna die too. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. So we had, by the way, we could have gotten the freezing rain, but I was scared for a second after he, after I saw the glorious charge, that he might actually use the Alvin Wood, you know. I mean, I'm sorry for this. It was actually not intended. They randomly went inside the base themselves, so my bad. Okay, so I'm coming for you, boy. I'm coming for you. I want to just, you know, get to freezing rain if I can. So that I want to make sure, like, get guaranteed victory, okay? So we're waiting for the Warchant cooldown. And for the next, for the other two combos coming now to support the main army. So we have, like, what, five combos? 
Holy. Okay, good luck dealing with this. <laughs> oh, look, in the meantime, he's running down. Just don't lose the wall riders. I, you know, seeing this game kind of makes me think that it's, I think, so hard to play from Rohan's per perspectives when you find this yourself in a situation like this. Okay, we, have, we basically got freezing rain, so there is zero person chance of us losing. Uh, indeed, the only the only way we can lose this is if Aragorn, for some weird reason, would get level ten. Okay, we, okay, I mean, war chant, freezing rain. Just keep the heroes behind the army. They only need to provide leadership. There is no need to go for a risky move and go for the. Explosive mind to make it boom chakalaka. He's calling it GG. GG well played, my friend. I mean, he did a very good job at the early game, you know, but then he never actually kind of committed on that. But maybe he can do better in the pre in the upcoming game, in the game number two. Let's check the money. I mean, we are stuck in the game, dude. Show us the money already. Yeah, we are rich. We are basically rich. Okay, boys. We're gonna see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you in the game number two. Game number two. This time, I'm going to actually pick the Rohan faction, and my opponent gets to play Isengard. So it's like swapped spots, spots, and also the faction. And let's see if it's about the faction or if it's about the player. You know. <laughs> but again, I'm so rusty. But I think Rohan can still win against Isengard. Like you just need a good early game, and Rohan with it. I mean, the only thing what kind of makes me uh, doubt this. Is that the map is so small, right? The, the, the peasant spam is not gonna be that strong. But of course, I'm gonna try my best to win this game. So like, we're gonna use draft and go straight through the middle. And my Mary and me, we will creep a goblin layer. So if you get a goblin creep with the good factions like Gondor or Rohan, and you leave the last hit to your soldier or to your peasant, and your hobbit is able to share experience with that this unit is gonna be so strong like no loki he can one me one uh, level one uruk with war chant okay let's keep him busy i don't know but i don't know how he started but he doesn't do the same start like i did <laughs> in the previous game so he's going for the defense not going for the war crisis i'm assuming okay so bring this peasant to this location uh, there is zero percent chance we can destroy this. Zero percent chance. Look, why are they not moving? Why are they not moving, man? Okay, all, all the plan is to keep them busy so I can creep uncontested, okay? So you can creep. You join. Let's make more peasants. You also need to get this. Okay, creep, please. Attack, attack. Nice. Okay, so let's bring this to this location. My peasants actually died. Oh no. Um You gotta be kidding me! Are you serious right now, man? This horse is driving me crazy. Why would you how? That's basically GG, no? I like I I don't I dude I didn't even get my second farm. The units they don't move! Dude, I'm so pissed right now. <laughs> uh, okay, it's okay. We can still win this. We can still win this. Guys, you see? It, you know, the mystique... I, I could have paid more attention to it. And I could, I could get a level 2 peasant by now. I could get a level 2 peasant by now. But in reality, I couldn't. Okay, maybe we can make something happen with the horses. Dude, I need to get warmed up, you know. I need to play like 20 to 30 games, you know, in a week. To get back in shape, to get back in farm. I'm playing so bad. I couldn't deal any economical damage to him. You know, you know what's the worst part? I could use my Hobbit to actually kill his, you know, workers at least. But I was like, okay, you know what? Let's go for like a more risky play. 
because risky about uh, creeping is risky because he can contest this but it's more rewarding too when you get the creep but in reality i lost everything and got nothing you got to be kidding me man holy moly Volk, Hobbit, Volk! Just Volk, don't stop moving! <laughs> Dude, it's like I, I, I see myself losing in slow motion. You know what? It's, my, it's kind of my bad because I'm used to be on host in all, all of my games. And of course, the off host disadvantage is kind of like a massive thing in in beefy me and no i'm not trying to find excuses for my horrible play no 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 no. it's not happening these are facts proven facts by swedish scientists okay swedish scientists have proven this talking about swedish scientists you know what they have also proven that subscribing to the beyond Sana's channel is going to make your schlong very long and if you want to be a true supporter, make sure to follow me on my Twitch channel too. As I'm about to lose this game. At least cheer up for me in my live streams. I'm planning to make more, you know, live streams in the following days and weeks. So, you know, I would like to see you in the Twitch chat, boys. Okay, so... Um, we are gonna try our best to get to three power point power spike so we are looking to get the elven ally special summon that's the power spike we are looking for and the peasant should help us to get there a bit faster by killing the enemy pikeman okay that's the plan so talking about the pikeman he has one pikeman coming now and we are reclaiming some map control that's good i like that beautiful so we can't creep this i mean we can't contest this war creep i mean he's war chan dude holy and i mean he's playing very good by the way like i know i'm playing bad but also my opponent is playing very good he's playing like he's playing this as good as he could by creeping quite a lot maybe he should be creeping a bit more offensively that's his own uh, only mistake but other than that he's like having a very good game so hopefully I can get the creep there and get to... I mean, we still need a whole power point, dude, you know? It's a lot. We still need a whole power point for the Alvin Elias. And he doesn't feed me with his... Can I get, can I get the last hit? Dude, I'm, I'm so unlucky this game or what? At least I get the money, but I would rather lose the money and get the creep to get power points. Oh, man. Get away there, dude. Rohirrim, go back to town. Maybe he's not paying attention. I want to go for a trample, actually. Oof, okay, I need to micro this. Run in circles. Oh, there is a combo. Oh, he's paying attention, isn't he? Oh, he's paying attention, isn't he? Get away there. Rohirrim. Dude. He's playing so good, actually. Holy. I like that, though. It's a challenge for me, you know? I like this. Because I was AFK for a long time. You know, I didn't play this game for a long time. And now the people, the new generation is improving. They are the future of this game. They are the future of this game. Okay, good. Oh, I'm playing so bad. Did I lose the Rohirrim? Uh, maybe I should have gone for the int mood. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> That's so bad, actually. Okay, never give up, never surrender. So, but he's playing. He's playing so good, you know. So, 
uh, don't run. But for my defense, this horse isn't helping. This horse isn't helping. Still need three quarters. And he is paying attention to his pikemen too. Again, small map, not many settlements, you know. I'm going for the base rush, boys. I can't go for the heal. It will slow down everything. Rush to bees. <laughs> oh, he accidentally demolished the Uruk pit. I mean, maybe he's feeling so bad for me that he's actually kind of helping me by destroying his Uruk pit. <laughs> yeah, without him, without the shields, horseman shields, it's pointless. I need the horseman shields. That's the only way they can deal proper damage to his castle. Yikes, bro. How is he winning this fight? Okay, we have now... I mean, the good thing is we have to Elven Alliance summon. Oh, get away there, get away there, get away there. Oh, he's coming for the Beast Rush. Get away there! Get away there too. Dude, all my Rohirrim are almost dead. Oh... Oh man, the Pikeman Uruk combo is so strong. Oh man, I will lose everything here. It's my bad though to not close the gate. Keep running! Look, the Berserk almost killed my horse! They can read. I'm losing everything. Oh boy, I lost the whole battalion too. Is my second battalion lost? Oh! <laughs> Get away from my bees! Okay, I mean, I think he was not doing it uh, intentionally. But it's over anyway, right? Uh, like, okay. There has to be a miracle. Miracle for me to turn this game around. I am broke. Literally broke. And where was Gondor when Rohan fell? Okay, I'm blaming this all on Gondor. Gondor, where are you? When Firion deal fell. It's all your fault, Denethor. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I'm just going, boys. I'm just going for the beast, okay? Wish me luck. Uh, two horses to rule them all. <laughs> Dude, imagine if I had, like, four horses. Like, it would be legit so crazy strong. Like, four horses, he demolished the Uruk, but he has no pipe inside the castle. Dude, that would be so incredible strong. I'm so broke, though. I'm so poor. I have zero ma farms outside. And that's the, weak that that's the biggest weakness of Rohan. You have only seven settlements inside your castle, so you need to have... You have to have, basically. Can we have heal now from the spellbook? That's good. Oh, I don't want to quit. In the meantime, let's try to get map control. I don't know what he's doing, actually. I wouldn't be surprised if he will have Saruman very soon. I mean, he should, have, he should have gotten Saruman by now, by the way, because he's so rich. He has the whole map to outpost. Like, he can... Oh, that's a very delete war chant. It's good for me. I can keep going. But I'm kind of badly damaged, too. I'm kind of badly damaged, too. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. I see you. And we still dealt good amount of damage to his base with two horses. It's, you know, we had like no tier in two. Like imagine like three, four horses and then you have tier in two with leadership. We are still destroying quite a bit, you know. And getting power points. Okay. So let's uh, try to bring the elves back to this location. Oh, but he broke in way too early. All right. And of course, he's gonna destroy the well. Oh, okay. So that, that's GG. I mean, he deserved to do it. What can I say? I played this so bad. I played this as bad as I could. So. I hate to lose so much. I hate to lose so much. I will have to, make, I will have to win the next game, boys. Wish me luck for the next game, boys. Okay, so it's the redemption arc, okay? So either I win this game or I go home as a loser and i don't want to lose my first game in months okay so we are on the map mirroring stream it was random against random 
and it looks like the last guy is not loading it's an observer he wanna actually watch me from the first perspective how i'm about to lose this i'm impressed by zimix performance so in order to be a proper challenge for those people the guys who have been playing a lot in the last months i actually have to practice a bit more you know i like that though i really like that that people are improving that kind of makes the game more entertaining for me too so we get to play mordor Mering stream not the best map for mordor it's not big map i mean mordor and rohan they are stronger the bigger the map is so let's build orc pit recruit smeagol smeagol is my name my precious my precious let's capture this we have like three free settlements it looks like we are against the evil faction okay so let's capture this one and you go straight forward okay that's the plan so hopefully it's not gonna be a mordor mirror match that's kind of boring I fo okay so let's get this one and go ham Ooh, uruks these are urukai so it's a good matchup i like this matchup a lot I think it's too, it's winnable for both the sides. It depends on the early game. Like almost every single matchup does. Okay. You know what? I'm going to bring my workers to this location. And <laughs> repair. <laughs> oh, this is not going to go down, man. Trust me. I have like four workers repairing this. And my orc is about to join. So it's a waste of time for him. I think maybe he can destroy this. But the question is, is it worth it to destroy this? Ah. Okay, look, look, look. They are going inside the orc pit now. They're gonna repair this like crazy. And I'm gonna use uh, Eye of Sauron here. Yeah, beautiful. In the meantime, and of course, he opened with like a double furnace opening, which is okay. I also like to do this because it's hard to keep your, you know, farms against Mordor. Let's get this one. He didn't even capture this one yet. And you know, my tricky move, right, with Gollum. So I, I like to place Gollum on a settlement inside the castle of him in which i think he's going to build the armory and sometimes if you are lucky the armory is building up it's gonna be stuck for two seconds at zero percent and then Gollum is gonna have his legendary moment to destroy it it happened it, it works like 50 you know 50 percent okay it doesn't always work but it's worth to try you know it's a 1200 armory and Gollum only costs uh, 150 okay now we have the black orcs that's a different story okay so before anything i like to build the orc pit number two. Oh, but here's a tower there there is no point to go for the furnaces it's a tower for the defense what we can do is we can try to creep okay so i'm gonna bring this orc to these two orcs and i'm gonna creep this work layer at the bottom right corner this game is looking very good for us so far. Of course, the Uruks are stronger in a 1v1 situation than Orcs. For that reason, we need to outnumber them. So we need to make sure to have a situation in which quantity will beat quality. And in you know on the on the good side, the Orcs they cost us nothing but command points. So our opponent has to invest 200 for each Uruk. Alright, so use one of them as a beat, this one, and then we can creep with the other one. Other two. Send them to the corner. Beautiful. Okay. So now the plan is to fill up the beast with slaughterhouses and go for the troll cage. Because there is a potential chance he might go for the forge blades. So even if you want to go for a Nazgul rush, which is by the way stronger, of course, and you get the Nazgul, it's going to be almost impossible for Isengard to contest map control. But it's risky if he goes for the blades and if he destroys your citadel. You are doomed, you will lose the game. So, what I would always recommend you guys to do is build the troll cage and recruit at least one mountain troll. Then you can still save money for Nazgul, but you can do you should do this, you know. And uh, oh, the yeah, Uruks are breakdancing. I want to place the Tainted Land right, right in front of his castle, okay? Because I'm gonna, I want to attack him from this location later on. So the Tainted Land will last there forever and will give us additional armor, which we need. Okay, so far, so good. We have good map control. Of course, he's now reclaiming some map control by recruiting lots of Uruks. But again, if we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Isengard, we should be good because our Orcs are for free. 
the only thing i need to do more often is to use eye of sauron actually more often like i'm not using it as much as i have to let's let the let, uh, let the you know orc level three recover a bit tower is doing a good job and once the trolls are on the field we can also go for the outpost control okay uh, look he's fighting this now the orcs if i they will actually hit like a truck so and when they get level two they get additional dps level two black orc super strong get there okay his base is looking good not very good actually you know but, like he's he at this point i mean he doesn't know like that's why scouting is so good you know he doesn't know how rich we are so but do you see how rich he is he has not even an armor yet up on the field so we are ahead of him destroy the lumber mill and guys quick question what do you guys like to see more on this channel do you like me playing myself and or do you like me to actually cast games like the replays for example because i will try my best to give you what you want what you what you really really want <laughs> oh the bears are the biggest counter to orcs huh of course you know bears are so, are so strong against orcs but guess what my troll is so strong against Berserker too. I will smash him. Oh, unlucky dude. He was trying, the Simil was trying off screen by the way, but he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. Imagine, it's a tilter, right? You lose a thousand. Like, of course you can reduce the cost of the armory by a bit by having multiple lumber mills, but you will still lose like around about a thousand, which is a lot of money in BFME 1. And it made lots of people rage quit trust me on that one okay in the past when i was playing this game more actively but i wish i could play more games it's not like i'm bored of pfme it's more like that i don't have too much time anymore you know two kids full-time job guys you know life is busy man life is busy okay so beautiful we are looking extremely strong right now so I will tell you about my secret plans for this game, okay? My secret plan for this game is to get the troll cage to level 2, recruit drummer troll, make combos. Combos, everybody is talking that mortal combos are very weak, and this video is hopefully gonna prove them wrong. Mortal combos are not weak, you just need to time it right. Because if you play Mordor well, Isengard should have trouble to main game map control against you. So by the time you have combos and drummer troll, he should not have lured Saruman every, everything in rain. So you have like the window in which you can out damage your opponent. Drummer Troll I will out damage Warchant. And keep in mind that in addition to your combos, you have also four trolls with leadership. They can also smack. It's all about being fast, okay? So you need to use your time wisely. You need to go for banner too. Level 2 massive power spike. So always go for banner with Mordor. We have good map control. Let's get the outpost. Beautiful. Get this one too. And don't let them get any money. Let's creep the last one. Okay, beautiful. So we need a trauma troll. Oh, okay okay that ain't happening bro that ain't happening bro the same situation like before use one of the orcs to lure the wards away so you want to destroy the lair first okay if you kill the orcs uh, the wards i mean they will respawn <laughs> so you know it, it's not good Uh, don't steal my money man don't steal my money man it's mine mine alone give it to me yeah boy amazing okay beautiful and we have a drama troll now it's all about speed now it's all about to go ham inside his castle and remember 
this is like all of all part of a planning okay so we were planning this since the beginning of the game and that's for that reason we placed the tainted land in front of his castle because that's gonna be the place we're gonna be fighting at okay so tainted land will give us additional armor drama troll gives us additional armor damage and combat experience and eye of sauron will give us additional armor uh, i mean additional damage and combat experience so i only gives damage and we need a bit more armor and that's why tainted land is gonna come in handy with additional 35 percent armor for our combos right in front of his castle isengard can't unlock tainted land at the beginning of the game mordor can use your powers okay use the advantage of you which your opponent can't match And keep in mind that we have also two, you know, three trolls, you know, there. And one of them is protecting the outpost. Let's go for the orc pit. Always use your money. So, people make the mistake. They are kind of playing it very slow. They get a couple of trolls. And they are trying to save for an Asgul. And they are trying to save for a witch king. And they are playing it slowly. And Isengard can also scale. Get lords, get Saruman, get Freezing Rain. And it will just make your life overall harder. And you don't need to do this. Go fast, 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 okay? And we are at four, four power points too. I'm pretty certain that we have more power points than Isengard. We have creeped almost every single every single creep on this map. So, now, let me demonstrate you the power of the Mordor combos, okay? So, in this situation, keep your trolls with the trees in their hands. Orcs, they are kind of tanky with the leadership they have. They are on the awesome tainted land. They get a lot of levels. Arzar can get one-shotted. And if he comes close with his combos, okay? We have three trolls. We're gonna send them in. And while they will try to deal with our trolls, our combos are gonna slaughter his combos, okay? So read your opponents like a book. He's poor. Like, he has no upgrades on them. Great. Not all upgrades, at least. I wanna fight. Send them one by one don't send all to one combo one of them is not even fire okay now we are smacking let's use eye of oh we smacked him boys holy guacamole you see he has no lord leadership that's crucial but if he would go for lords he wouldn't have this many combos so you can't have everything simultaneously at the same time you need to make a choice you need to have like a priority what i want to do first what i want to do next so going for Lourdes, he will be level 1. How will he get level 5? It's not this easy when you creep the map, right? And without Lourdes level 5, your combos should be out damaging his combos. Because you have more leadership. You have, I mean, he has upgrades, but you have darkness. You have, you know, I. You have Drummer Troll. In Tainted Land, we have been placing this since the beginning of the game. Always have a plan. You plan your moves in the game. You plan what you want to do in the next few minutes. And of course, when it doesn't work, you need to be also kind of spontaneous about adapting to the gameplay of your opponent. You need to, you know, basically the life of our, the life of a RTS gamer. I mean, he played a phenomenal game with Isengard against my Rohan. So I'm happy that I won this. I still got it at the end of the day, boys, okay? I still got it. Kinda, kinda. But he played very good. If I keep not playing, if I keep being inactive and he keeps playing, I'm pretty certain he will crush me. I'm pretty certain he will be crashing me into pieces. <laughs> Look, my troll is... <laughs> but it, I didn't even recruit orcs. And also, I think better carry upgrade on orcs is so good, you know? It's gonna turn them into level 2 black orcs. That's a massive power spike. I'm gonna call it GG, offensive GG strategy, you know me. And now we are rich. Like, imagine going for the Witch King, it's not needed, you know? It will slow you down. By the time you have Witch King for 8,000, he will have definitely Saruman for 5,000. Saruman could be actually more expensive. GG well played, 2-1 the final score. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep eating like a truck. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, Stay beyond Sanders. Peace out, boys.